computer here. Today, I am going to explain the easiest way to understand recursion. A recursion occurs when a function calls itself in its definition. Here is a recursive function for calculating the factorial of a number n. A recursive function is defined by two properties. A base case, which is a terminating scenario that does not use recursion to produce an answer. And a recursive step, which reduces all successive cases toward the base case using a recursion. In the function factorial, the base case occurs when n is equal to 0, where the function simply returns 1. The recursive step occurs when n is greater than 0, where the function calls itself recursively on a smaller version of the input. The easiest way to understand a recursive function is to assume that the function is correct for all arguments smaller than the input size. The only requirement to make this assumption is to prove that the base case is correct. Let's take a look at the factorial function again. We first need to prove the base case. The zero factorial is 1, therefore the base case is correct. Now, we can make the assumption that the factorial function is correct for all numbers smaller than the input, n. By this assumption, factorial of n minus 1 correctly returns the n minus 1 factorial. Now we can understand that the function returns 1 when n is equal to 0, and returns n times n minus 1 factorial when n is greater than 0. Let's take a look at an another example. Fibonacci sequence is a sequence that starts with 0 and 1 and each next number is the sum of the two preceding ones. The first ten numbers in the sequence are as follows. Here is a function that returns the nth Fibonacci number. We first prove the two base cases. The zeroth Fibonacci number is 0, and the first Fibonacci number is 1. Therefore, the base cases are correct. Now, we can make the assumption that the function fib is correct, if the argument is smaller than n. By this assumption, fib of n minus 1, and fib of n minus 2 are correct. Therefore, fib of n correctly returns the sum of the two preceding Fibonacci numbers. Here are the key takeaways. When trying to understand a recursive function, First prove its base case. Next, assume that the function is correct for all arguments smaller than the input size. Finally, use this assumption to understand the recursive step of the algorithm. I hope you find this video helpful. Computer signing off.